I've set up a basic scene in Flash. I have brought cut. I have created the background color by setting the stage color. It's supposed to represent a wall. I have brought in an image that I took in Ireland and put a frame around it by drawing a rectangle with a line width of 20 pixels. What I want to do is I want to create the effect of a broke, of a breaking window using a mask layer. I'm going to zoom in so that I can see my window in the full screen. What I want to do is I want to draw the broken glass and then I'm going to use a mask to slowly reveal it. So I'm going to use my pencil tool. I'm going to select white for the stroke color and I'm going to make the stroke size 1.5. One actually looks a little bit better but I want you to be able to see it clearly on this screen. I'm going to make sure that my pencil is set to ink because I really want to look like it's breaking. It's on my pencil mode tab and then I'm going to draw a little circle Oops, I need a new layer. I want to lock my window layer. I want to make the layer two glass. And then I want to start drawing. So I'm going to draw a little circle here. And it's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect because broken glass spider webs out in an imperfect way. So imperfection is totally fine here. And then I'm going to have draw cracks coming out at various points from the circles. Not the most perfect broken glass, but it will get the point across. Again, it would look better with a one point, one pixel line, but it would be harder for you to see in the recording. So I'm exaggerating the width of the line just for the sake of making it easier to see. Okay, I've got my broken glass. I'm going to lock that layer. I'm going to put in my mask layer, which I will name mask. You don't have to. You can name it anything you want. It just helps me remember what's going on. I want everything to persist till, say, frame 90. So I will select all three frames by clicking in the top one and dragging the mouse down. I will then right click and choose Insert Keyframe. F6 will also work for that, and that will make everything persist the whole way through. But there's nothing in the mask layer to persist. So I'm going to pick a very bright color from my fill color. I'm going to choose red or hot pink. I'm going to use my brush tool. I'm going to make a little dot, and I don't want it to be directly over any of the lines because I don't want them to I selected the wrong one. I want to actually select my, select my keyframe. I want to make a little dot near the center but not over any of the lines I drew. That will actually make this mask everything except that little spot. You will only be able to see through there and since there's no lines drawn it will be fine. I am going to right click on the mask layer. I'm going to select mask and automatically only the glass layer is selected. So you can see, now you can't see the broken glass at all. I want to later drag in a sound, so I don't want this to start breaking right away. I'm going to have it start breaking in frame 20. So I'm going to right click, and I'm going to insert a keyframe here. And then I'm going to find my pink dot. I'm going to unlock this. And so you can't see the masking because it's unlocked and I'm going to use my free transform tool, select my pink dot, 
I want to do this right here. Don't pick the empty spot here. We'll just move it over one when we're done. It causes problems if you use that. I'm going to insert a keyframe and then I'm going to grow it. And here, because I'm actually changing the shape and it's a shape, not an object, anytime you're working with a shape, you have to create a shape tween. And you can see the shape will slowly grow over it. I want to click this last frame and have it move one over here so it doesn't disappear at the end. And we're going to test this by hitting Command or Control, Enter. And it slowly reveals the break. There are a couple other steps to this exercise. This is, I'm going to teach you your first line of programming code. We're going to create a layer named Actions. And because I do not want this to loop, once the window is broken, it should stay broken. I'm going to insert a keyframe in my last frame. And then I'm going to select Actions. Actions was at the bottom of my menu. This opens up my programming code. There's only one line of programming code you need to stop things. You just, just type the word stop, open parentheses, close parentheses, semicolon. If it turns blue, you typed it correctly, no capitals. Now when I test it, it should stop at the end. That will allow the window to stay broken. The last thing I'm going to do is insert a sound layer. Now light moves slightly faster than sound, so I'm going to start the sound just after the break. I'm going to insert a keyframe, and then in my window, common libraries, sounds, I'm going to look for glass. I'm going to drag this onto the stage. It'll appear in the timeline, but you have to drag it onto the stage. Now I can test this again. And you have a window breaking with sound.